This is Dr. Haik. In this video, I'm going to go over question five from the 2016 AP Chemistry exam, the free response part. So the question says, at high temperatures, the compound C4H6 reacts according to the equation above. So I have two C4H6 gas gives C8H12 gas. The rate of the reaction was studied at 625 Kelvin in a rigid reaction vessel. Two different trials, each with a different starting concentration, were carried out. The data were plotted in three different ways as shown below. So I have one graph for concentration versus time, another one for natural log of concentration versus time, and the third one is 1 over concentration versus time. The first question is, for trial 1, calculate the initial pressure in atmosphere in the vessel at 625 Kelvin. Assume that initially all the gas present in the vessel is C4H6. Now, for trial 1, the initial concentration of C4H6 is 0 0.20 molar. I can take this one from the plot concentration versus time and where we can see the uh, concentration axis intercept is equal to 0 0.020 for trial 1. So I can say that N over V is equal to 0 0.020 mole per liter. Now why do I need this ratio N over V? Because to use the ideal gas law expression PV equals nRT, I can say that pressure is equal to N over V RT. So now I can replace N over V by the concentration term, which is 0 0.020 mole per liter, multiplied by the ideal gas law constant R, which is 0 0.08206 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin multiplied by the Kelvin temperature which is 625 Kelvin so the answer comes up to 1.0 atmosphere so this is the initial pressure of C4H6 now the next question says use the data plotted in the graph to determine the order of the reaction with respect to C4H6 now if I take a look on the graphs again I can see that the plot of 1 over concentration versus time gives me a straight line and this means that the reaction is second order in concentration of C4H6. The last part in this question is part C. It says the initial rate of the reaction in trial 1 is 0 0.0010 mole per liter second. Calculate the rate constant K for the reaction at 625 Kelvin. Now, from the differential rate law, I can say that rate is equal to the rate constant K multiplied by the squared concentration of C4H6 since it's a second order. And therefore, rearranging this expression, I get that K equals to the rate divided by the square of the concentration. Now, I can use the initial rate, which is 0 0.0010 mole per liter second, divided by the square of the initial concentration, which is 0 0.020 mole per liter, and the value of K will be 2.5 liter per mole second. I hope this video was helpful to you, so please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.